everybody, Dr. Corden back with another 90 seconds of knowledge. Uh, and today we're going to talk a little bit about depression. And most of you are probably familiar with depression. You see the ads on TV for all those antidepressants. Uh, and most of the time people are familiar with the fact that depression has to do with a change in serotonin levels. That's a neurotransmitter in the brain that helps regulate mood. Uh, and most of the time we are given a medication that increases the availability of serotonin in our brain. Uh, but the problem is that's not very effective and I'm going to show you why uh, here in a second. Uh, but depression is increasingly being seen as an inflammatory condition. That's right. So the inflammation uh, through diet, through immune activation actually causes you to underproduce serotonin. So take a look at this. So here we have the metabolism of tryptophan. You see tryptophan right here, and it is metabolized into serotonin as marked by 5-HT. However, it can be uh, also synthesized into this called kinurinine via this enzyme here, TDO, as well as IDO. Uh, this IDO enzyme is oftentimes activated by the immune system and pulls more and more tryptophan away from being able to be metabolized into serotonin. So therefore, you underproduce it. So there you have it. That's how inflammation and activity of the immune system can actually make you underproduce serotonin, therefore lowering your, your mood. So the thing is to look out, watch your diet. Do not consume a high inflammatory diet, generally full of refined carbohydrates. And make sure that you uh, perhaps look into allergies and anything that might be activating your immune system unnecessarily. And that may help you with your depression. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to answer them.